What is going on, everybody? So I am back today to talk about a film that is a little older. This film was released in 2011, but this is a film that I've had a lot of people recommend to me and tell me to watch because it's a horror film. It's a more unique indie horror movie that uh, doesn't get talked about seemingly a whole lot. And so I decided to jump in and watch this movie and kind of formulate my own opinion because I always love watching kind of like underrated horror movies that don't seem to get talked about in the grand scheme of things as much. And the movie I'm gonna be talking about today is Kill List. Kill List is directed by Ben Wheatley. Nearly a year after a botched job, a hitman takes a new assignment with the promise of a big payoff for three killings. What starts off as an easy task soon unravels sending the killer into the heart of darkness. So I was really looking forward to watching this one after uh, reading a lot of great reviews on this one and being recommended this film by people whose opinions that I really respect. And uh, I was kind of disappointed by this movie. I don't think by any means that it is a bad film. I think there's a lot of things to appreciate about it. But I also think its execution is kind of weak and there are moments in it that definitely could have been tidied up a little bit. The film introduces us to Jay who is this young guy living at home with his wife and their child and most of the first part of this film is a marital drama. It's these people living at home together. We know that they had a lot of money, they lost a lot of their money, and this whole idea of him being a hitman that's said in the plot description really isn't revealed until like a good half hour into the movie. And so we see their their problems that they're having. They're running out of money. His wife is really pressing him to go get another job or to do it. And he's like, I really don't want to. Why, why did we lose all this money? And so a lot of it is marital issues between them. Well, then we're introduced a gal played by Michael Smiley, who a lot of you will probably be familiar with, who is the best part of this movie. His performance is definitely the standout. And he comes over with this new girlfriend. They're having dinner together. Jay and his wife break out into this fight. He ends up taking him into the other room and they're having a conversation together while his girlfriend ends up going into the bathroom and carving something on the back of their bathroom mirror. And so after that happens, the two of them decide to take these jobs together where they're going to commit these three hits. And each one has a title card pop up. When they go to commit the hits, we don't really know any super specific information about why they're doing these. We get a little bit of insight into their jobs they've done before, but it's very minimal through very uh, small amounts of dialogue. And so throughout the film, we uh, see them interact with these people. There's these really weird, minimal interactions that they have, and it blows up into this crazy third act conclusion that I feel like is probably why a lot of people really enjoy this movie. And my biggest issue is that while the third act is really well done, it's very suspenseful and strange and out there, the movie doesn't really earn it, in my opinion. It's kind of like it wants to be one thing for a very long period of time, but it doesn't have a seamless enough of a transition for when this crazy, overt, nightmarish stuff starts to happen. It doesn't really feel like the film has done anything to get us there other than some eerie sound design. That, and that's really one of the best parts of the film is the really uncomfortable and strange sound design that it provides. But other than that, you go through this whole runtime where it's just like this the this marital drama and then it jumps to these hits and you're kind of like okay we're going all over the place and then when the third act happens which i won't get into in case you want to watch it it's just like okay this is really out of left field like why did they decide to take it this direction and i saw some people comparing this to hereditary but here's the problem that i have with this movie compared to looking at a masterpiece like ari aster's hereditary hereditary is a familial drama through the first 45 minutes minutes of the movie but there's always subtle hints at what's to come there's always little things that show you that not everything is what it seems and that things are going to blow up and they slowly amp up through the film it's just little by little by little by little to where little things will happen obviously there's huge breaking points in hereditary that keep you invested and that show you that this is going to have something that's going to be more than meets the eye kill list has none of that it's really just the one scene of the girlfriend carving something on the back of the bathroom mirror there's one sequence where they find a dead animal in their yard and there's a couple of these little moments that just feel like kind of I don't know slices of everyday life which is normally something I would really get into and really enjoy but there's this mundanity to it that I don't really know what the director was trying to convey with the supernatural things that are happening at the end of the movie it's it's really 
disjointed and it doesn't really convey a strong enough emotion to resonate with me comparatively to something like Ari Aster's Hereditary which is very subtle and nuanced until the very third act. When they blow up in this very elevated way that movie doesn't take enough of its time to really sit with me in that regard and that was really disappointing because I do think this movie has some really great performances. Like I said the sound design in this is fantastic but it really doesn't do much else for me and I, I don't know maybe I'll revisit this one at some point in the future but as of right now I just found it kind of middle of the road so have you seen kill list did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was okay at best I don't think that it's as it's super great or like that it's this hidden masterpiece I think there are moments that are really enjoyable and that I really appreciate but for the most part it didn't do a whole lot for me as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.